boys and girls. We are going to do a quick little job on these um, Schneider MCCBs and uh, we're just going to put an extension bar on them so we can uh, switch them out here. So these were two extras in this board and um, installed them didn't have the extension bar so I'm just going to do it now. So I'll show you how, how it all works and uh, I don't have a tripod or anything so I'm just going to do bit by bit and show you every time. So enjoy! So obviously the first step is to isolate this side of the board. It's not going to impact anyone today. So um, you just go through and uh, always turn the circuits off or the boards off before you um, turn a big switch off just to minimize the load on each of the, um, you know, on the big switches. And so power factor unit which isn't working, no distribution board. So we've got that off, and now the big boy. Ka-chunk. Alright, so now we're safe to work on this bad boy. So first step is just to pull these screws off, and then we can get this cover off and replace it with the uh, the remote switching component here. Alright, and then that um, marries in with this bar, which you just cut to length at, at this point. And the uh, switchboard builder, last time he was out, he was kind enough to uh, measure out and punch the holes and drill the little screw holes for us. So this is going to be a quick and easy job because that is the hardest bit usually. When you're doing this, if you um, if you are if you have to do this yourself and punch these holes, the best way to do it is to put this put this unit, install this unit, and then set up a laser tripod so it's shooting through and hitting directly in the hole here. All right and then shut the door and your laser is going to be in the perfect spot then you can cut your hole and you're going to be in. this has a lot of play here there's a there's it's quite a big um quite a big cover plate that goes over the top i'll show you that in a minute but there's a big there's a bit of play so you don't have to be perfect perfect but if you um use the laser you're going to be spot on every time and that's what that looks like with that cover plate off so now we just undo the screw for the um the toggle here, the switch, whatever you call it, we pull that off and then that should seat nicely into that little uh, hole there. Alright, so that just just pushes on after you take that off. Yeah, so line everything up, push it on, we'll do up these screws and I'll do the same for that one as well. Okay, and we'll move on to the next step. Surge, eh? Woo -hoo. Just as a quick test, it's good to check that you've got, um, um, you know, the mechanism free inside. All right, on off. Lovely. All right, so we'll now move on to mounting the bar, and I'll show you how to measure that up. Now, <laughs> obviously, these are designed for sort of any cabinet, so um, this is obviously way too long. We're going to have to cut it down. So we'll mount the. Uh, the door switches and then we'll um i'll show you how to measure this was i was a bit out of step but we'll do that next all right so this is the measurement from here using the ruler as a face as a face guide so you need to take a millimeter off for the ruler those rulers are about a mil all right so we'll go back one mil close enough and then the um, thickness of the door as well so the thickness of the door is oh that's two mil Take another two mil off. All right, and now we need to work out the size, the depth of that. Okay, so let's uh, let's do that now. All right, so that's a measurement again for the, um, the panel. So again, we need to take the millimeter off for the ruler. Sorry, it's hard to do one-handed. Take a millimeter off for the ruler, about there. And then uh, the depth of these, that's, that's a five mil. I've measured that just then. Just show you guys, I suppose, as well. All right. So that's five mil. So we need to take off another five mil. So what are we at here? 
We're at 24, so we'll go back to 19. Right, so 19 millimetres plus our original depth measurement, minus all the allowances for the steel and the ruler and everything. And that will bring us to the grand total of 143 millimetres or thereabouts. Now, because, um, because we've also got um, similar breakers with the setup, let's check how close I was, so bear with me. So I'll pull that one out. 141, so two mil off. If you're two mil proud, I mean, you can always shave a little bit more off. You don't want to be too short, because then, you know, you've fucked your bar and you can't get it to work. So I'll go cut my new ones down to, I'll call it 142, and then uh, I'll come back and we'll see how well it works. Donskis. All right, so we'll whop them in. There's just a little Allen key uh, grub screw, retention screw to, um, to hold that in place. And then this job is about done. We'll just, uh, yeah. Whoop. Alrighty, so that's how we look. All right, so let's, um, since this one's here, ready? Perfect, absolutely perfect. Now there is a method down here of calculating the exact length, but I mean, look at that shit. That's fucking confusing as all shit. I much prefer just to do my method. Um, it's, it's basically foolproof, okay? Um, I mean, you can calculate from the backboard or all these different measurements. You got X there, so from the back of the breaker, but like, it's not, it's not exactly clear if the back of the breaker is the back bar or if there's a lip here that you need to measure off, so. And then how do you measure it internally with the door shut? So it's, it's tricky doing it that way, in my opinion, but. Either way, we got there in the end and we had one to check it off, which is always a little bit, it's a little bit stressful when you're cutting them. But when in doubt, always go like five mil longer because you can always take five mil off. You know, you can sort of, you can sort of judge it. And if you need to take a couple of very fine cuts just to get it to fit, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely better than cutting it too short, which I have done before. So uh, pack all my gear up here. This little job's done. I just need to get some new labels manufactured because these are two sterilizing units that are going in the um, sterilizing section of this hospital to clean the medical uh, surgery equipment, gear, scalpels, whatnot, all that sort of jazz, bump scopes, all that fun shit. So thanks for watching guys, enjoy. Do all that fucking liking and commenting and all that stuff. And uh, if you have a better tip on how to do this shit, Definitely let me know if you've got a like a quicker, easier method of that. Definitely hit us up because I don't do these often, but that's that's my method anyway. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks. I'm not using and a boom 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 and a boom, and we'll test them and get them on soon. So yeah, cool. Thanks for watching.